Hello everyone, this is Coaster Daddy. Welcome back to another video. Today I want to discuss some coasters that I think could be leaving Cedar Point in the near future. So stay tuned. We've got a lot of stuff to cover here. As all of you probably know, Cedar Point is on a peninsula, and it is surrounded on three sides by water. So Cedar Point does not have the option of buying more land and having it connected to the existing park. Being that Cedar Point is my home park, I do realize there's plenty of spots that they could utilize for a new coaster in the future. So they might not necessarily have to remove something right away. But when it comes to a certain point, Cedar Point is undoubtedly going to have to remove some of their older coasters to make way for new, more thrilling, and more innovative rides. So the question is, which one is going to be leaving next? I'm going to go over a few different options, and to be quite honest, I don't have an exact answer of what I think will be leaving for sure. I got some that I think are more likely. To start things off, I want to talk about Cedar Creek Mine Ride. Now, this ride is actually celebrating 50 years in 2019, so it's a very old ride. It's an aerodynamics mine train. This ride doesn't really seem very popular. It doesn't offer that exciting of a ride experience. It's an alright family coaster. This coaster does take up a large plot of land, though, and they could fit something really nice into this area. I could definitely see something like a more modern family coaster or a really nice GCI in this spot. Now Cedar Point has recently hinted that Cedar Creek Mine Ride will be staying around as they posted something on the blog, I believe, about sort of giving it some TLC, like with the station. The thing is about revamping the station a little bit. They could also be getting ready for something in the future. I have a feeling that they will reuse the station from the Cedar Creek Mine Ride, or at least incorporate it somehow into a new attraction that they will eventually put in that area. I do believe this coaster is definitely going to come out at some point in the near future. It might not necessarily be the next one to go, but I think its days are numbered. It's had a very long life, and I think Cedar Point is going to see this as a prime spot to use for new, more exciting attractions. Next up, I'm going to touch on Corkscrew. Now, Corkscrew opened in 1976. It's an Aero Corkscrew model. It's actually really historic. It was the first coaster to invert riders three times. And it's also sort of an icon at Cedar Point, having been there for over 40 years and having those corkscrews that go over the midway. It's definitely... A really good looking ride for the midway there at Cedar Point. It doesn't take up a lot of space and I have a feeling this will be sticking around for a little while longer but it hasn't aged very well. It doesn't really seem too popular and most people do find it to be very painful and to be quite honest even if they were to get like more comfortable trains with better restraints this layout really isn't that exciting, and I wouldn't really see it as being that great of a ride anyway. So I believe this ride is on its way out, but it'll probably stick around for a little while longer. A lot of people recently have mentioned Gemini. Now, Gemini is another very old aerodynamics coaster. It's actually quite a good ride. Despite being 41 years old this year, it's still fairly smooth. Very well maintained, it's a fun ride, it's very high capacity, which is good for Cedar Point. The thing is about this ride, it's a good plot of land, not only in size, but location too. I don't think Magnum is going to be going anywhere anytime soon, despite what some people say. I just do not see that going anywhere. I think Magnum has another good 15 to 20 years in it. And I could definitely see Gemini going before Magnum does. And I think Gemini will be leaving again at some point in the fairly near future. I don't think it's going to be the next ride to go, but it's a very good spot to put a new, more exciting coaster in. They could possibly replace it with a newer racing coaster. So this one's really interesting. 
I I think it's I think Gemini is going to stick around for a little while longer, at least another four or five years before we see it get the axe. I think Gemini is here to stay for a little while longer. The last main coaster at Cedar Point that I want to touch on, and coming right out of the gate, I think this one might be the most likely to get removed next. And it's pretty interesting considering it's also the newest one out of all these by far, Wicked Twister. Now, Wicked Twister is a huge intimate impulse coaster that opened in 2002. And Cedar Point has been rumored to get this boardwalk expansion lately. And it is supposedly going to go in the area that Wicked Twister resides in currently. There has been some demolition recently around the area of Wicked Twister. We've seen that old theater demolished last year. And the, I think they could be prepping that area to get new, some new attractions for 2020 and 2021. So I think Wicked Twister is actually a very likely candidate to get removed. It might even happen this year. This could be the last year for Wicked Twister if they were to get that Boardwalk expansion for next year. Another really interesting thing to go along with this, and the reason a lot of people actually started talking about this, is California's Great America released this 20-year plan for things that they want to do in the future. One of the things listed is an Intamin Impulse Coaster, and it is listed on the plan as being over 200 feet tall and having twists on either end, and it actually shows a picture of Wicked Twister in there. Now, I don't see any more brand new Intamin Impulse Coasters being ordered. It just doesn't seem like something anybody would be willing to spend money on nowadays. And coupled with the fact that it's listed as being over 200 feet tall, having the double twists, and also picturing Wicked Twister there, this could definitely be getting moved at some point in the future. Now, they could move Wicked Twister to another spot in the park, I'm sure, as it does take up a small footprint. It's very long but narrow, so they could get moved to another spot in the park, and I'd definitely be fine with that. I think Wicked Twister is a really fun ride, but I think Wicked Twister's days are numbered, and it's probably going to be on its way out at some point in the next couple years. So if I was going to bet on any one of these rides, I would probably say Wicked Twister is the next to go, and it definitely looks like it may be getting moved to California's Great America based on the plans that they released. Adding to that, Wicked Twister is not a really high capacity ride for a park like Cedar Point, who gets these huge crowds on a regular basis every year. So that definitely adds to the case for Wicked Twister, I believe. Iron Dragon could also be a possibility for getting removed at some point soon. One thing that would go against this theory is that VR was recently added to it. So I don't think it's going to be going anywhere in the next five years per se. But these aero suspended coasters are getting very rare. I'm sure parts are hard to come by and they're going to be more difficult to maintain in the future. So I definitely could see this biting the dust and making way for new expansions at Cedar Point. But do I think it's the most likely option? Definitely not. Let me know what you guys think in the comment. What coaster is going to be removed from Cedar Point next? Do you think one of these rides is going to be it? Or is there another ride maybe that is more possible? I don't think there's really a whole lot of other options personally that they would consider removing very soon. But if you think otherwise, let me know in the comments below. I want to hear what you guys think about this topic. Are you guys really attached to any of these rides? And would you maybe be really sad to see them go? Or do you think that they need to go to make way for more exciting things in the future? If you enjoyed this video and you want more content about theme parks and roller coasters in the future, make sure you subscribe, like, comment. I upload new videos at least once a week, so I'm looking forward to seeing all of you. I also want to thank you guys real quick because in the past few days I have reached 50 subscribers. And I know that doesn't sound like a whole lot, but when I first started this channel, it really took a while for me to get any subscribers at all really 
And very recently, it just started to kind of snowball, and I've started to build up a little bit more of a fan base, and I think I've created at least a couple pretty loyal viewers, so thank you guys so much for sticking with me up to this point. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. I'm very open to any sort of, you know, critiques, constructive criticism. You know, I'm always trying to improve my content, and also trying to make some unique stuff as well. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm looking forward to growing the channel from here, and hopefully you guys stay along for the ride. Thanks for watching, everybody.